Uh, welcome back. In the last few days, I've just been doing a lot more work uh, milling the various plugs that we had created and sprayed with the putty. So here we have the um, back bulkhead that attaches to the keel, which is actually the pressure bulkhead. And just face cutting uh, the flange for that. And we're using the long bit there so we can reach over um, the actual platform itself. Because as you can see, the, the mill is really low to the table there. And for anyone who's interested, that is what the end mill looks like. That's one of them. We have many, and this is a, a big 14 inch or 12 inch uh, three quarter diameter one with four flutes on it. So there's the fuselage um, after it was came off the machine. Uh, what was it on the weekend? Just after the weekend, and uh, it's had some hand sanding and stuff done on it. There's the keel, almost ready for primer. It's a little bit more work to do on that. And here uh, Taylor's working on the uh, nose gear door opening on the fuselage, and we had to. Uh, actually do a blend on the middle of the fuselage there because of when we ran the, the path we had to do it in two different pieces. So here's the uh, forward bulkhead and that's just starting out on uh, getting the, the putty milled off there. Again just taking about a sixteenth of an inch of putty off there. And here's that rear bulkhead um, from the keel that's now finished and be coming off the table there just to get the hand sanding done on that. And here we are again with the uh, forward bulkhead, the face cutting the flange there, using a shorter bit this time because there's, there's more of an angle on there and we don't need to reach over the, uh, the platform as much. And here we're using the same bit, this is a three quarter inch end mill, um, three quarter inch diameter, and we're doing a swarf cut along here and so the swarf cut, you know, obviously using the side of the of the end mill there and cutting off about a quarter of an inch um, on a step each time so you don't try and just you know take it all at once which would cause the bit um, to basically bite and, and it wouldn't jam but it would probably vibrate and bite into the into the plug. Uh, so this morning the guys started working on this uh, fabric table so it has um, a rack there so you can put different rolls of fiberglass and carbon fiber on there and we'll have a top for that soon so you can lay it out and cut fabric. And then here's the guys uh, working on the hand sanding on that the forward bulkhead. And there's Jeff working on the blend on the, um, on the fuselage there, it came out fine. And here's the machine again running on, uh, again, we're using a smaller bit now. This is a 7 16 inch end mill uh, diameter, only about two, three inches long. And it's doing a face cut on the um, on this conduit, this round conduit plug. So it's actually just stepping up about point, um, 0 0.05 of an inch every, every go around here. And it makes a nice round finish, as you can kind of see there on the end there, which was a separate pass done earlier. And this one has just, you know, just stepped up a little bit and it's going back again. So this actually came out really good and uh, didn't require virtually any sanding at all. And here's the same part here and just doing the face cut on the flange. And that one's using a, a shorter uh, three quarter inch bit. And there's a final pass on the other half of the round part of the conduit. Again, that's with the 7 sixteenths bit. And there's the finished product, or at least one of them. That's already been hand sanded and ready for primer. And here's the uh, forward bulkhead, and that's finished hand sanding ready for priming. So we'll be priming some stuff in the next couple of days, so stay tuned.